Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. Right now, I'm on a working vacation. I'm in beautiful Premantura on the coast of Croatia, the Adriatic Sea. It is stunning here, it is beautiful, but I need a laptop with crazy good battery life. This is the System76 Lemur Pro, and this is the Tuxedo Computers Infinity Book S14. Both of them originate from the same Clevo chassis. Both of them have identical 10th generation Intel CPUs, the same keyboards integrated into the chassis, similar Samsung SSDs, the same ports, the same speakers, the same webcam, the same Marathon 73 watt hour battery, and they both sport 1080p IPS matte displays. But as I always say, it's the little things. And in the case of these spectacular laptops, those little things might add up. Let's explore that. So the lowest starting price for the Lemur Pro is 1099 US dollars before tax and shipping. The base price for international orders of the Infinity Book S before shipping and relevant taxes is 965 euros or about 1062 US dollars. So what comes packed inside for those entry level prices? Baseline specs for both systems include 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 10th generation Intel i5 10210U CPU, and similar Samsung M.2 SSD drives. But there is one thing to pay attention to here. When you buy a Tuxedo Computers Infinity Book S, it includes a two-year warranty. When you buy the System76 Lemur Pro, it comes with a one-year warranty, and upgrading to two years will cost an additional 115 USD. One key difference between these two laptops is that Tuxedo ships the Infinity Book S14 with a lower powered 1.6 watt display. The Lemur Pro, meanwhile, ships with what System76 describes as a high grade 3 watt panel from Inolux. You might not notice the differences between these panels without seeing them side by side, and to be honest, I didn't. But once I had both laptops at Linux for Everyone HQ, I lined them up together with maximum brightness, both of them displaying the same pure white background in Firefox. Let me show you what that looks like. You can see the difference in white balance and calibration, and this may be a very important thing for artists, graphic designers, or video editors. But I have to point out two things here. The display on the tuxedo is just as bright, and the lower 1.6 watt power consumption means even longer battery life on the Infinity Book S. I'm still running a uh, battery of battery tests, but I can confirm that while running identical benchmark suites with identical power management settings, the Lemur Pro died about an hour before the Infinity Book S. Another difference to be aware of is that the Lemur Pro ships with both Core Boot and System76 EC. System76 says that their clean re-implementation sequences board power states much faster. All right, so what's that mean in plain English? Basically, the work the company has done on Core Boot and System76 EC, it means less code, which translates to less delays. So you get noticeably faster suspend, resume, and boot times. However, Tuxedo also has some advantages over buying a stock Clevo chassis. As just one example, Tuxedo laptops ship with BIOS improvements, allowing you to completely disable Intel's management engine, webcam and microphone, and wireless LAN and Bluetooth. By no means should this be considered a complete review of both of these laptops. But I did want to call out these specific differences here because if your Linux heart desires a super ultra light laptop with insane battery life, if that's your focus and you don't mind shelling out over a thousand USD, then I would have to give the nod to the Tuxedo Infinity Book S14. However, if display quality and color calibration is important to you, you'll probably want to go for the System76 Lemur Pro. It's certainly not an easy decision to make. What I can say for now is both of these companies are terrific and both of them have a quality product. Thanks a bunch for watching everybody and remember while you're here to subscribe. There's a lot of great stuff coming down the pipe and I want you to see all of it. And that will include reviews of both of these spectacular laptops in detail. I'll see you guys for the next video, but for now I have some work to do. Until next time, take care and take care of each other. Bye.